Hello guys and welcome back to another video, another review. This time we have Atletico Madrid player pack review. As you can see, these are all set of decent players. And we're going to start with the goalkeeper. Jan Oblak is by far one of the best defensive goalkeepers in the game. And if you have him and he's in form, he will do an awesome job for you. Like Thibaut Courtois as well. Uh, goalkeeping reflexes needs to be around 90, reach needs to be around eight, above 85, pairing needs to be around 85 as well, awareness needs to be almost 90, catching needs to be almost 90 as well, and that is how you do Oblak. Unwavering form, B rated currently, so yeah. Rodrigo de Paul, exceptional player with exceptional long-range shooting. I scored phenomenal goals with him. Uh, ball control driven and tight possession needs to be around 82. Low pass and lofted pass needs to be around 85. Finishing needs to be 75. And speed and acceleration. Speed until his kicking power is 85. And acceleration until his offensive awareness is around 82, 83, something like that. And the rest you allocate what you need the most. Are you going to allocate uh, kicking power? Are you going to allocate finishing? That is how you do Rodrigo de Paul and you will have the beast of the whole player. And I use him as advanced midfielder and center midfielder now in diamond formation. But mostly I use him as advanced midfielder. He, even though he can play on the both sides. Uh, honestly in the midfield he is more useful. Double touch, soul control, long range curl. Through passing, weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, low lofted pass, captaincy, game and ship, and fighting spirit. Unwavering form as well. Next up we have Griezmann. I use him as a secondary striker and center forward. And sometimes advanced midfielder when no one is around with form. Ball control driven type possession needs to be around 85. Low pass, you can leave it like this or you can increase it to 75. That's your... Uh, preferable choice it depends on if you're going to play him solely as advanced midfielder then needs to be around 80 something so yeah finishing needs to be around 80 for starters uh, speed needs to be as much as high as kicking power needs to be around 82 acceleration needs to be 70 well around uh, as much as high as uh, offensive awareness needs to be around 83 or something like that. So yeah, double touch, sombrero, cheap shot control, rising shot, acrobatic finishing, heel trick, first time shot, through passing, pinpoint crossing and super sub. That's a new trade for him as well. Unwavering form. So yeah, with super sub you can use him even with D. But yeah, I, I use actually Griezmann as advanced base builder and secondary striker. No, sorry, um, center forward and secondary striker. That's my preferable choices. Koke, box to box. He needs to be increased a little bit more defensive to 75. Ball control driven type possession is decent. You can increase it to 80. Low pass, 85. Finishing, you can leave it like this. Depends on what you're going to do with him. Are you going to play him defensive or you're going to play him a little bit more offensive? But if you're going to play him defensive, leave it like this. If you're going to play him a bit more offensive, then it needs to be 70. Speed is the downside of Koke. Speed needs to be at least 75 to be exact. Acceleration needs to be as much as high to offensive awareness needs to be 75. And physical contact needs to be 70 at least. He was, he's a good all-around player. Cut turn, one-touch pass, through passing, weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, low lofted pass, sliding tackle, capitancy, and fighting spirit. Decent, decent player to have, but not one you want to start. Stefan Savic, good defensive. Uh, you need to increase his defensive awareness to 92. A speed needs to be at least 75 and acceleration needs to be 72. That is what you do with him and that's it. Adding man marking, blocker, area superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. And you will have a decent center back as well. Unwavering form, nice. 
Yannick Carrasco, prolific winger. Uh, ball control driven tight possession needs to be around, well, 85. Low pass and lofted pass needs to be around 80. Finishing needs to be 75. Speed needs to be almost 90, so you can have kicking power with him. Acceleration needs to be as much as high as offensive and it needs to be 80. And you will have a good player who can play on the wings and come turn and uh, score the goals as well. Marseille turn, chop turn, knock off shot, rising shot, acrobatic finishing, one touch pass, pinpoint crossing and gamership. An, a great addition to any Division 1 squads. Unwavering form. Uh, right now in my formation he doesn't have room to play, but if I switch to another formation, maybe he will. Depay, deep lying forward. Another astonishing player. Ball control driven and tight possession needs to be around 82. Low pass and lots of pass, you can leave it like this. Finishing needs to be 85 at least. Speed and acceleration. Speed needs to be at least kicking power needs to be 85. Acceleration needs to be at least his offensive awareness needs to be 80 something. And then you allocate what you need to more. Uh, offensive awareness or 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 speed or anything else. Double touch, gut turn, soul control, long range curler, cheap shot control, long range shooting, first time shot or a bona penalty specialist and captaincy. Everything is decent on him. Unwavering form as well. And last is Hermoso, center back, build up. Uh, defensive awareness needs to be 85 and above. Speed needs to be 80. And acceleration needs to be at least 72 to 75. Uh, the rest you allocate on his jumping because his uh, physical contact is a little bit low. So you need to increase jumping to 80 and physical contact needs to be 70, some 75 if, if you if you are able to do it but yeah he's not that great all around he is for division two and backup for division one and four star teams that's his main forte but everything else he's actually decent heading weighted pass low lofted pass through low long throw man marking blocker very superiority and fighting spirit standard form and that's it so overall from this pack must have is Oblak, then Savic, then Griezmann, then De Paul, Depay, Carrasco, Koke, and Hermosa. Those, those, that is how I would level them with the strengths and weaknesses all around on the pitch. So, guys, thank you for being a lovely audience of the video. Sorry for my voice, I'm, I'm suffering on a, or sore throat. So, I hope I'm going to be uh, cured soon. Also, thank you for watching and be sure to check other videos as well. We're going to see each other on Twitch. All of my links are down below and see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.